<laughs> oh, seeing that title or seeing that jingle again definitely brings back so many memories. Hello, everybody. Mr. Bright Guy here for another episode of LP Shorts. <laughs> this week's episode is Bubble Bobble for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is parts. Uh, this Bubble Bobble game has been part of the Bust a Move series. Now, I have recorded this before, and after seven minutes, the computer froze on me last night, so I had to redo this again. Uh, this game was made in 1988 by Taito America, licensed by Nintendo. But it has been on separate, like several consoles and arcade systems, like the PlayStation, the Sega Genesis, the Sega Master System, the uh, Atari, and all that. But I'm, I have been like starting to think like this game is probably not like the main part of its series, but I think like the Bust a Move series has been most of it. No. Not Bust a Move by Young MC. Uh, Bust a Move series. Yeah, Bust a Move was like a bubble popping puzzle game. So, like, in a sense of Tetris and um, I think Poyo Pop, you shoot bubbles upwards and you make like a line of bubbles to pop and clear the board. Um, that was made, oh wow, that was only made in 1994, <clears throat> this, that was made in 1994, okay, never mind, this was the first of its kind, Bubble Bobble, but Bust a Move, also known as Puzzle Bobble, came out in 1994 as a tile matching puzzle arcade game, made by the same people, never mind, okay, so this one was the original of its series. This is a platforming game where you shoot bubbles to hit monsters and then you just pop them to get points. Now I thought the story of this game was pretty interesting. Uh God. If this game if this computer ever freezes again, I'm going to have to restart. It was distributed in the United States by Romstar, and in Europe by Electrocoin. Players control Bub and Bob, two dragons that set out to save their girlfriends from a world known as the Cave of Monsters. In each level, Bub and Bob must defeat each enemy present by trapping them in bubbles and popping, who turn into bonus items when they hit the ground. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, oh shit. I think I needed to reset this here. One. Okay. Never mind. Um. <laughs> okay, here's some much more detail into this. Baron Fawn Blubba has kidnapped the brothers Bubby and Bobby's girlfriends and turned the brothers into bubble dragons. They have to finish 100 levels in the Cave of Monsters in order to rescue them. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do, hopefully it doesn't crash this time. I mean, it does sound like it. Is that I'm going to go as far as I can into this game and then see if I can use a code or a password to reach the final level in this game. Now, I'm just trying to figure out. I think I can... <clears throat> I think I can fix this. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time. Oh shit, hang on. <laughs> it was set to two player. God damn it. Now it is the beginning of a fantastic journey. Let us make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Now this freaking music, oh jeez, yeah this freaking music is what probably shaped up our childhood throughout the NES era, cause like, 
This game was also a part of our little NES collection that my dad gave to us. Um, it also came with uh, it also came with the three Mario's uh, the three Mario games, Mario's one, two, and three, as well as Duck Hunt and Blades of Steel for the NES. We never had oh jeez. We never had, like, any other NES game back then, like... We never had Legend of Zelda, we never had Metroid... We never had... <clears throat> we never had Kid Icarus, or... Uh, what... What are, like, the... Whoa, jeez. Oh, oh. What are, like, the popular... NES games back then? I'm trying to remember. Na, 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 na. Well, I know Donkey Kong. That's not actually NES. That's an arcade version. Oh, is that a rupee? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to get that. Hey! Nice. Uh... Habushki. Nice, nice. Yeah, if you can do a combo with those monsters, you can actually get letters for the left side of the screen. And I have no idea how to get all of them. I think you just need to keep making combos. Whoop. Now there's also a little trick you can do, too. Whoa, jeez. There's, there's also a trick you can do with um, the bubbles that you can create if you hold the jump button. You can jump onto the bubbles like they're platforms. Wee! Yeah, like honestly, we never had any other NES game growing up. Like this pretty much shaped up our childhoods. Oh my god, they are rupees. <laughs> Lamp oil, rope. Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. <laughs> so easy. Like, now that I think about it... Since there's like only a hundred levels into this game... We've never even beaten this game. We never even thought about doing like the passwords for this growing up. It was just so weird, like... I guess there were, like, some particular levels that were, like, very hard for us to do. But... <laughs> we're now, like... Yeah. We're now, like, very... We're now, like, very capable of doing this shit. Ugh. Excuse me. <laughs> Wonder if I can do a combo again. Yeah, I'm just gonna go as far as I can and then see if I can do the last level. Now here comes these new enemies. I like to call them the purple whales. What was that? I think I got like a special item. Um, yep. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, I couldn't get it. Yeah, it's hard to, like, pop those bubbles. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, if you can... Oh, jeez. If you can actually get, like, these fast bubbles to hit the enemies, you can get, like, a crown, which is actually, like, several points. Ah, fuck! Alright. Let's see. Boop. Yeah, see, if you hold the jump button while stepping on a bubble, you can... You can bounce on them. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, and there's also a time limit for... Whoa. Yeah, there's also a time limit to try and beat these enemies as fast as possible. Oh, how... Why did you go there? Come on. There we go. Yeah, seriously, why did you go up? 
I think it's this particular level that was hard for us. Yeah, if we can actually make this work. Uh, we'll just get every single bubble into this one area. If we can. Unless I can just... Uh-oh. Oh, hey, let's go. And then... I can jump. Oh. Oh, no, we did it. Yeah. Honestly, though, like... I think that particular level used to be so hard for us because we cannot get out of that thing. But... Just using this one trick to jump on the bubbles, it makes it super easy. Oh, shit, that's a lot of letters. Oh, I, I want that. I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, that's nice. That is so nice. Yeah, I actually wonder... Like, what the- oh, fuck. <laughs> I actually wonder what that actually spells. I think it's extend. Um... Right. I I did mention earlier too, and I didn't even finish. Yeah, you, you have a time limit for killing all the enemies in one room. Cause it would actually oh jeez. Cause it would actually say hurry. And after like I think five seconds, there's this like skeleton whale that comes out, and he. He's, like, invincible. I'm sure of it. Let's try it again. Yeah, th this is going so well. Oh, this, this actual platforming. There we go. Jesus Christ! I thought I was never going to get them. Okay. But yeah, if you don't kill them fast enough, then a skeleton whale comes out and... actually fucks up your shit. Because he's, like, invincible. And he will o Oh, fuck. And he will only show up to kill you once. I think he goes away after you're died. Or after you lose a life. Ooh, what's that? Oh, no, it's gone! Shit! There we go. Yeah, that was like some sort of cane that I saw. Like a wizard staff. And now it's gone. There's like certain items too that you can actually like skip a few levels. I think it's... I think it's for, like, if you get enough points. But we're still going. We're at level 15 out of 100. Um... Yep. Oh, there's something. Oh, the running shoes. That just makes you go faster. Um... Shit. Oh, you need to take one of those things. Hang on, let me just grab one. There- oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, I could try again, but... That's pretty much what this game is. Now, I'm gonna set a code. Well, first I gotta text my girlfriend. Uh, boop, boop, boop. <clears throat> I'll put in a code to the last level and see what that is. See what that's about. Should be level 99. Um, how do you change it? Oh, okay. So G. E, J, 
A and J. Super Bubble Bobble. Oh. Wait. Wait, what are these? Um... Am I missing something here? What the heck? These are some interesting new enemies. I've... I've never seen this. Hang on, I'm missing something here. Uh... Reset. Um... What was that for? Yeah, that was supposed to be level 99. Unless I was supposed to tap continue or something. Oh, it's here. It says, like, new game starts, two-player new game, one-player continue. Okay. I understand. So, G, E, J, A, J. And then, continue. Oh my goodness. Oh, I forgot these were a thing. Whoa. Um... Yeah, I forgot these were a thing. Ow. <laughs> I think... Yep. Oh, they're... Oh god. Oh. Uh. I would if I could. No, he's gonna kill me. Ow. Okay, that's interesting. There's a fire power up, and if you drop one, it creates a pit of fire. That you get... Okay, why... Okay. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's so weird. Well, if I can actually... If I can actually go there and kill that guy... Nah. Let me try that again. No, come on. Yes, okay. Holy shit, okay. Um... Should I, like... Yeah. I'm gonna wanna... Safe state here. Because I've never seen this before. Yeah, I'm gonna want to save state here because I've never seen this before. Um, oh Jesus. Alright, what do I do here? Um. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Actually gives you a second chance at this boss. Yeah, I've never seen this before. Oh. Oh, you use a lightning bolt on him? Alright. This is gonna be something. Um... I just have to grab those potions. But you'd, like, die in one hit. So it, like, doesn't give you a chance. Alright. So, I think you have to, like, grab one of those lightning bolts potions, and then shoot the bubbles at him. Oh my god. 
but you have to do it without dying? Oh my god, this... This is actually something else. I'm gonna have to figure this out. I'll be able to determine by the number of points this guy gets. Oh my god. Okay, so you're not gonna believe... How many points? Okay. You're not gonna actually believe how many points. It's actually 60,000. It's actually 60 fucking thousand points. I was at 59,000 when I died. I was at 59,000 when I died. I was actually one hit away from beating it. Oh my god. I was actually one hit away from killing him. Holy shit. I was act- <laughs> I'm like surprised myself. It was actually 60,000 points. And I was one hit away! Oh my god. Well, since it's that amount, then... It looks like I can actually do this. Just by doing this strat. I'm already at 50, uh, 43 hits. Okay. Yeah, I'm already at like 45 hits on this guy. Okay. 49? Holy shit. That's it? Oh jeez. It's actually that easy. If you know the strat. Oh! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes! Oh my god. Well, wait. Hey! We did it! Holy shit. Bad ends. This is not a true ending. Try again with your friend. Holy shit. Okay. Holy fuck. Oh, so apparently that's a bad ending. Holy shit, I beat the boss and apparently that's not even a true ending. There's apparently multiple endings to this game. I thought it was like 60 hits when I saw that video, but it took more than 70,000. So as soon as you force him into a bubble, then that's when you stomp on him. Holy shit, okay. <sighs> that was quite a challenge. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a bit stressful. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of LP Shorts. Take care.